I'm going to show you how to build the classic magnetic levitator. The first thing we need is a wooden base with four nails at each side of the base. The distance is not that important. The nails will be used to hold the magnets. We are using speaker magnets. We will use two magnets at each side of the base. The way they go is the following. Take two of the magnets and put them in such a way that they repel each other. You have to see the way they have to go in order for the magnets to repel. Once you have them, put them in one side of the base. Then take the other two magnets and do the same operation. Now you have the four magnets in the nails and this will be the base for our magnetic levitator. We will also need two smaller magnets. It is better if they are neodymium magnets. These are 12 by 4 millimeters in size, but any similar size will do. Now take a piece of plastic and roll it to form a tube. The tube must have the diameter of the same size of the magnets. So you can put the magnet inside the tube and use some glue to hold it in place. Then you will put the tube with the magnets above the big magnets. You have to be careful to see that the polarity of the small magnet is such that it repels from the big magnets. They must repel each other. Here we have the tube with the magnets in place. We have one magnet at each side of the tube and we also have this nail in one of the sides. We will see why it's needed in a moment. We also put some tape in order to see the rotation of the tube. Here we have the base with the magnets and we have added this piece of wood. The piece of wood is there so that the tip of the nail of the tube can rest over the wood. And there we have it, the tube levitating above the magnets. The reason that this part is needed is the following. The tube is stable in the lateral direction. However, it is unstable in the axial direction. If the tube moves too far to the right, the force of the magnet will push it farther away and the same is true if the tube moves to the left therefore we must have some element that prevents the axial movement of the tube once you have the tube levitating you can make it spin it will also spin in the other direction Thanks for watching.